This is the machine assisted chest dip, a great exercise for targeting the lower part of the chest. Before we get into the setup, just pay attention to the position of those knees and those hips, where I have those knees forward, those hips back, and I have the heels close to the butt. This can allow me to have an angle of the torso that helps me use more of the chest and less of the triceps, and stay tuned until the end where I'll show you a technique to get even more activation through the chest. First, let's start by adjusting the weight to a comfortable level where you're able to get at least eight repetitions with good form. On this machine, more weight means more assistance, and you likely have to start out doing a couple of warm-up sets at a higher assistance to get comfortable with the technique and develop good form. Then, start by setting up the handles at the right width. Most have adjustable handles like this, and position them ideally in a spot so where they are just outside shoulder width, like I'm doing right here. If you feel too much stretch through the chest and the shoulders, you likely have them too wide. And if you feel too much of the triceps, you likely have them too narrow. Next and a critical part is the grip, which is often done incorrectly. You wanna make sure that you have the knuckles in line with the wrist, doing your best to point the knuckles down. This is essential as this will allow us to perform this without wrist pain and allow us to better stack the elbows and the wrists during this exercise and avoid bending the wrist and pointing the knuckles out to the side like this, as this can be very uncomfortable for the wrist and also throw out the form entirely. Place your knees on the knee pad and then push those hips back, bring those knees up, and the heels should be close to your butt. This can allow us to have that torso facing downwards at an angle to help us recruit the chest better and use less of the triceps versus just being straight up and vertical with the torso. Go slowly on the way down, shooting for a three to four second eccentric and go down as deep as you comfortably can, achieving at least a 90 degree bend at the elbow. Keep the wrist and the elbow stacked on top of each other like this and also be mindful to not hit your head on the way down. Push down through those handles to go up and avoid locking out those elbows and squeezing the triceps to help us maintain tension through the chest. Once you're done with the set, place one foot onto the footstep and let the weight up gently using the knee of the other leg. Now there's one key thing that's gonna allow you to feel it more in the chest and that is on the way down, imagine like you're pushing the elbows apart this will help you feel it a lot more in the chest and less in the triceps. And on that way up, imagine like you're pushing those hands towards each other and you'll feel an amazing contraction in the middle of the chest. Now, common mistakes we want to avoid during the exercise is being too upright like this. If you find yourself doing this, remember to bring those knees up, push the hips back and keep that core tight. Also avoid bending the wrists and having the knuckles facing out to the side like this. And again, avoid locking out the elbows too much at the top as this will take tension off the chest and also create a necessary tension through the traps, neck, and the shoulders. Thanks for watching guys. I like this video right now. Leave a comment on what tutorial you'd like to see next and always subscribe for more tutorials just like this one.